I have a football entrance or a football team and I wanna know what you recommend to put on the football field for the entrance. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. Typically, we work with a lot of athletics departments, a lot of um, athletics directors and operations for major colleges, a lot of major colleges, high schools, and the liking. So you want some special effects for your team entrance. Maybe you have your own team. Well, there's many different options that we can do here, and you really want a hands-off approach to this because the cost-effective way is to put a couple of cryo guns on the side and actually have those cryo guns with people shooting out. <laughs> Make sure you don't shoot anybody in the face uh, and keep a six foot or 10 foot distance between you and the persons that are running out. Or you can do a more sophisticated system that has CO2 jets that are already mounted, they have DMX already cooked up, and the tanks are, are hooked up and off to the side, and then everything's controlled with a DMX controller. So what we can recommend is this, and what we normally see is about three levels of packages. The first package is going to be the basic setup. Two cannons on the ground that are dual nozzle. The, the one nozzle shoot inward, the other nozzles kind of shoot up, that way you have only two jets. It's a dual nozzle jet and you get four streams. It looks like you have four CO2 jets, okay? The amount of CO2 tanks is really gonna determine the length of time that you're shooting those. So 50 pound tank lasts about 60 to 80 seconds. You can calculate that. If you need more than 60 to 80 seconds, you're gonna need another tank, yet another tank. So you can kind of do the calculation with that. So what we've seen about three to four tanks per jet and dual nozzle jets. That's our, our basic setup that we see a lot of colleges and a lot of high schools go for. Now the next step up is of course adding some LED jets or adding more jets. Maybe they want LED jets that shoot out LEDs, but those really don't help because the bright lights in the stadium really cancels it out. So then they elect to go with maybe four jets with two nozzles or four jets just with single nozzles or valves. The valves are smaller. We have a high output valve on our homepage. Um, if it's not on the homepage, it's in our product section. But what that is, is it's smaller, it's power on and off, and you don't need all the fancy bells and whistles. It's a better price for the most part, but it's a little bit more technical on how to use it. So make sure that you know what you're doing with this. These are CO2 jets, they can be dangerous. And then we have the next step up from there, which starts getting into a collection of different effects, which we can supply all of them if you need. Flames, uh, uh, DMX related CO2 jets, confetti machines, spark machines, cold spark machines. So then you start layering different effects on top of it. And what you've probably seen on more of the uh, larger stadiums is you'll have a couple of CO2 jets, both in a line and on the side, but you also have maybe multiple tiers of jets and then also some flames or spark machines where you got CO2, you got flames, You've seen it before, and there's many different ways to build these. Of course, price matters. So if you're asking for advice on this, my question to you would be this. What's your budget? What's the look that you're going for? And how soon do you need these? And if you give us that information, info at cryofx.com, we can reply back and say, hey, this is going to be a solution to this inquiry because we like to prescribe these things and not just throw you the most expensive thing. It's not how we operate. We wanna make sure that you get what you want, you get your look achieved, but also that we stay within your budget. One of the in, uh, one of the systems that we did, I believe it was for Iowa State, it was a customized system. We basically had something similar to a Unistrut that was mounted. They had something there where they could put this in and bolt it on, and it had four valves on each side. Those valves were very specific. We built the whole thing. We sent it out as one unit. So you plug it in and they shoot and you unplug it and they don't shoot. Now, of course, the CO2 tanks were on their side. We set them up with the gas, but the hoses, all you would need to do is plug this in or have some type of DMX controller or general on and off button. And of course, the CO2 hose that connects everything together. But this created a wall of CO2 so that the players could run through it. That's another option. Again, options are limitless. We're here to serve you. We do customized systems, we do packages, we do it all within reasonable standards. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments or contact us, info at cryofx.com. Thanks for watching.